Welcome back to the Turkish Republic of North Cyprus. Today, my goal is to ride up into the mountains and camp in an abandoned monastery. Wish me luck. Okay, the grade has started to increase, heading up this big old mountain range that goes down the entire spine of the island of Cyprus. My abandoned monastery is at the top. Very dramatic mountain over there. That's the Five Finger Mountain. Looks like a hand sticking up out of the forest. Look at that dramatic cliff face. Five Fingers Mountain indeed. Look at that thing. So this is the little restaurant where I was planning on getting my dinner. It said they were open and it said they were selling sajuk sandwiches, but they're not open. I'm at the very top of the mountain and there's no other food or markets around for miles. There is a great view though. Big old city down there, though it is hazy. That's Nicosia, capital of Cyprus, both north and south. And it's the last divided capital in Europe. Now, the only food I've got is Turkish Delight. And I've got some cappy mixed juice and water. Now, 10 year old me would probably love the idea of Turkish Delight for dinner, but adult me is not so thrilled. At any rate, at least there's a bunch of nuts in it. I don't know. Maybe I'll find something random, but it's looking like it's going to have to be Turkish Delight for dinner tonight. Just passed a bunch of Turkish soldiers with big machine guns. Anyway, this is a tiny little winding mountain road that's not even on the map. I can just see that it leads to the monastery via satellite imagery, so hopefully I get there okay. pleasant little roads I've ever ridden. It's relatively flat, nice and sweeping through these mountains, just following the terrain. Attention, there is a danger to life in the shooting zone. Entering is prohibited. Okay. Monastery's right down here, apparently. I'm gonna have to come up this hill tomorrow morning. That's not gonna be too fun. Oh well. well, hopefully this monastery makes up for it. Power lineless power pole hallmark of an abandonment. And here we are. All 
right, let's have an exploration. Is that Armenian? Interesting. I wonder if this was an Armenian monastery. Mate, if those are oranges, maybe I can eat some of them. Hopefully it's not that weird, bitter, orange-esque fruit that's inedible. Wow. Looks like everybody just had to pack up and leave. In a hurry. These rooms have an interesting shape. Hmm, people must have been living here. I wonder who it was. Some ovens out here. Down into the lower courtyard. Interesting. Ah, here's the chapel. This is a really lonely place. Kind of sad, honestly. Thing's just a full on compound. It's got post apocalyptic vibes. Hmm. There's an obelisk up here. No 
1933, it says. chair room. A lot of lizards in this place. Okay. Let's see about this orange tree. Not very sweet. But it's very strong. some kind of ablution fountain. Mate, what a spot. Talk about vibes. Jeez. There's some people approaching. I'm gonna try to stay out of sight, lest they start fucking with my shit. What a beautiful place. Okay, time to find a spot to set up my hammock. Massive pile of roof tiles. I think I want to be outdoors. Oh yeah. Guess I could stretch my hammock between this tree and that pillar. This place is really tranquil. Those people didn't hang around for long. They took one look in here and then walked off. So yeah, that's pretty good. Something that gets me about abandoned places, you know? The spooky, post-apocalyptic, post-human. They're historical. It's just everything I love all wrapped up into one thing. And they're also peaceful. Peaceful and tranquil. It's just nature slowly retaking. I'm in love with the aesthetic of abandonments. It's my first time spending the night at an abandoned monastery. I've heard stories about the old abandoned nunnery in Iona, Scotland. Ghosts and all kinds of crazy stuff. So, it seems like these old religious convents are a hot spot for ghosts and paranormal activity. So we'll see. If I hear any weird noises though, any rustling of leaves. I'm gonna chalk it up to the large number of lizards that are living here. I'm gonna to have to see something like a weird silhouette of a human or something moving around that. Now that will freak me out. 
Anything other than that? Shouldn't do much to scare me. Check that out. You can see all the way down to the Mediterranean there. On Google Maps, this place is not listed as a tourist spot or a historical site or anything. It's just listed as straight up place of worship. But often you'll find in Turkish North Cyprus or Turkey, you might find a place that's listed as a religious sanctuary. And if it's a church or anything Christian, you can bet it's abandoned. I might have a little sip of my cappy mixed juice, honestly. Feeling a bit peckish. Last time I bet everything on one restaurant being open for my dinner. I'll just get some stuff from a market next time. At least I got this in my Turkish delight. Though, I don't have anything that's not sweet, except my water. Life after people. Starting to feel a bit peckish. I'm just gonna keep snacking on this. Fortunately, it's got quite a few nuts inside. Almonds, peanuts and stuff, so it's not completely unsubstantial. Mm. See you in the morning. Good morning. Do you hear that noise? It sounds like an explosion. Something to do with that shooting zone, perhaps. I better pack up and get out of here before I linger here any longer. Explosions are getting louder. Who's setting off bombs at nine in the morning? Anyway, I'm gonna pack up and get out of here, ride up that big pass. But first, I wanna have a quick look at this place from above. Oh. 